How does an airplane fly? Physicist Sir Isaac Newton stated in his third law of motion that for every action, there must be an equal and opposite reaction. In an airplane, the wings push the air downward, and in reaction, the air pushes the wings upward. It's similar to holding your hand horizontally in a strong wind. If you tilt your hand up a little, you can feel the air on the palm of your hand pushing it up. Your hand pushing the air down is the action. The air pushing your hand up is the reaction. On an airplane, the wing must also be tilted slightly upward. This tilt is created by the flaps and is called the angle of attack. The wing must also have a curved shape that causes the air to smoothly follow the surface of the wing. This is called the Kawanda effect. Lift is created when air flowing past the bottom of the wing strikes the wing and is pushed downward. And due to the Kawanda effect, air flowing past the top of the wing is also pushed downward as it follows the wing's curve. As the wing moves through the air, it pushes a mass of air downward by providing a downward force. Following Newton's third law, the equal and opposite upward force is the lift that keeps the airplane in the air. A steeper angle of attack generates more lift until the flow of air is disrupted and the wing stalls, losing its lift. Lift is sometimes mistakenly explained using Bernoulli's principle, which states that as a fluid such as air flows more quickly, its pressure decreases. While it is true that the pressure is lower on the top of a wing than below, this is an effect of the lifting force, not its cause. Lift is a reaction to the downward force of the wing pushing on the air, and it allows an airplane to fly.